All right, guys, let's watch a clip from this movie and then come back and talk about what just happened. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? I told you to come the day after tomorrow. You, you didn't get my message. But it doesn't matter, I won't stress you. No, we just can't be here. I told you the day after tomorrow. Please. You can come and clean the place, you can't be here. Come on. Hello. Oh, sit down. Um, this is uh, Rose, uh, my cleaner. She comes here on Saturday to clean and cook. Oh. Um, sometimes she comes during the week. Oh. Rose is my wife. You never told me you were married. Rose, you didn't ask me. Really? So, so what did you mean when you said what we have is special? She's my wife. What I feel for you is different to what I feel for her. Trust me. Trust you? How do I trust a man who never told me about his status? See, relationships are hard as it is, so nobody should expect the long distance version of it to be any easier. As you guys can see in that clip, she didn't know a lot of things about him, which led to the situation that they ended up being in. I'm going to give you guys three really important pointers to pay attention to if you're in a long distance relationship. This will guarantee or at least give you a big chance of your long distance relationship working out. Like I already said, Relationship as it is, is tough. So number one is communication. You guys got to be all about communication. You got to be able to talk about anything and everything. You guys going to have to know the intricate details of everybody's day. Like how it's going, what is going, how it goes, when it goes, with whom it goes with. And you should be able to share these things freely without having any hesitation about telling the person, you know, what's up for the day, you know. You got to communicate starting from the morning throughout the day. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be on the phone with the person. You guys got work to do, but definitely check in during the day and let each other know how your day is going so far. Number two is bonding. There is nothing as important as bonding when you are in a long distance relationship. Now, some people might ask, how can you do that? There's a lot of ways to do that. And at the same time, you got to keep in mind, most of the things that people do when they are together in a relationship, long distance people can do it. Let's take, for instance, taking her out on a date. This is possible. It might sound complex, but it is possible. For the guy, if you got to buy her some outfit that she's going to wear, if you're going to take her to a boutique and buy her something to wear, evening gown out, do it. Both of you should find good restaurants, especially the girl. Find a good restaurant where you can set your phone without having to feel like somebody might snatch it. The guy should also, on his own part, also maybe go out to a restaurant. Guys, this doesn't have to be expensive. We're just talking about safety. So, the guy should also be able to go to a restaurant. You guys will be on video call. Both of you would order. Both of you would chit chat. You see, these things might look like they're out of place. But the truth is that these are the little things that bond connection. Another thing that could work is something like find online games. Online games that two of you can be part of. There's a lot of remote games. Even somewhere as Facebook offers remote games that people can play together. You guys should find those little things and make it part of your union it's bonding it keeps you guys fluid it keeps you guys bonding it keeps you guys gel together you know so these things are important to keep the relationship up and running it's like a car and oil you gotta oil the engine for the car to deliver so this is you guys oiling your relationship Number three is transparency. Now, the word transparency is kind of complicated because it could apply to so many things, but that's what it should be. Video calls. Your partner should be able to call you anytime. Yes, they know when you're sleeping. Yes, they know when you're awake. Yes, they know when you're at work, but they gotta be able to call you anytime. And you, the other partner, has to make it a point of duty to always answer. Answer, because look, all you're trying to do is make sure that trust is there. So you gotta answer those video calls even if it's at night, answer it and tell them, ah, oh, babe, I'm sleeping. You get? Like, if when you're at work, answer it and be like, ah, oh, babe, I'm in the middle of something. You guys have to be able to make that a point of duty to answer each other when you call. Now, guys, ladies, this is not a one-way street. When I say call, I mean you call, she calls. Now, there's something that a lot of ladies are used to. They only call when they need something. No. Just call to check in with him. Call to know how he's doing. You don't have to wait till when you need to buy something or do something. Ah, babe, eh, 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 I really need something. Just call. 
call so that it would be a frequent transparency communication and if you guys can do video calls video calls is always the best because video calls let them have that peace of mind that peace that knowledge that yes whenever they call you you can answer you see you guys are really long distance so any small thing can trigger mistrust even when it's not necessary don't be afraid to make those video calls it should be implanted into the dna of your relationship now there's a lot of other things that could be done and i would love to hear your opinion in the comment section as to other things that couples that are in long distance relationship could be doing to keep the bond and the relationship intact now if you like this kind of content again subscribe even if you don't like it Biko, subscribe too subscribe because you don't know the day that i'll talk about that issue that's important to you i always like to say that life is like a movie that's why we're using movies to express our life my name is cj and i'm here to deliver sense thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video